good morning guys welcome to today this is my sunday hair this is my sunday morning hair this is my i just got up hair this is my time change hair the time changed we're an hour behind we lost an hour but that's okay <laughs> once again it is freezing cold but this is the last cold day of the week it's supposed to get so warm and amazing out this week <laughs> and i'm glad for it because i'm really ready for spring oh what happened here last night i checked and made sure everybody's doors were locked poor little winston sitting there watching everybody pooping on the floor you watching them what are you two doing how'd you get out look how huge they are you guys are huge <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're like identical twins. <laughs> so cute. I have a bunch of my towels washed up from the last burst Sophie did. So those are going to go in there. Hi, babies. See, they both have marks on the same side. Those moon spots. Hi. See, they're not super friendly, but this guy is looking chonky. And this guy's taller. Well, you let them out. It wasn't me. How are you guys doing? I'm always most worried about these ones because they're so little. Oh, oh, you kept them warm, Mama. What a good Mama. There's three back there. You can only see two. What a good Mama. I, I am falling in love with this doe. Like, falling in love with her. Because she's not an alarmist. If any of you guys remember me from when we first started the vlog, I used to be an alarmist. I used to like sound the alarm bells when anything happened. Like I honestly would freak out over silly, stupid things. I mean, freaking out over anything is silly. It took a long time and it took Gabby to teach me that actually it took Gabby and God. Wait, where are my buckets? It took Gabby and God to teach me that there's nothing so big in life that you have to freak out over it. That God always has a plan. Things always work out the way they're supposed to. Even if that means it doesn't work out the way that you wished it would. I can't believe you broke your babies out. I can't believe she broke her babies out. All right, there's my bucket. She's looking good though. She looks, she looks good. Anyway, now that I've learned the importance of not being an alarmist. An alarmist is someone who like freaks out at even at anything. Anyways, now that I've learned not to do that, I feel so much more peaceful. I feel so much calmer and I worry so much less. Do you guys remember I used to worry? I used to worry so much. And now I'm just calm all the time. babies honestly this is exhausting <laughs> it's so exhausting oh so somebody would suggested that i feed <laughs> i feed rosie in the hall so that's what i'm gonna do it was hard getting her here it ended up with a a game of musical stalls but hi hi harley no hi hershey <laughs> I love this little corridor here because all the babies can just run and play and it's just amazing for them even when it's cold outside. <gasps> so she has to do that. She has to teach them the rules of the herd and she has to teach them to stay away from her food and they're listening good and she's really gentle. She could definitely hurt these babies. But little Mr. <laughs> Mr. Winston. I'm so glad we named him Winston. That's my favorite boy name of all time. And he's just such a love. Like, he's just so much fun in every single way. He's so accommodating and so friendly. But he's not mean. He's not rough. His only bad thing is that he humps Lola. <laughs> They're going to be your best friends soon, Winston. It's going to be you and all the boys. <laughs> Look at how cute. They're playing Ring Around the Rosie. Oh, 
I left you in there so you could eat. All right. They're fine. They are fine. Her, her milk, her udder is actually so super pretty. She's like, I'm going outside. <laughs> Look at that. Do you see they were staring at each other? <laughs> Come on, little dude. That's, that is Harley. Come on, Harley. Come on. Oh my gosh. Things are getting out of hand already. Control your children. All right, everybody just go outside. Go out, get out, everybody out. Hit the road. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I turn around and he's attached to Lola. <laughs> That actually took me forever just to get them all outside. I'm gonna leave Mocha with her four day old babies. Yeah, four day old babies. Mocha's four day old babies are gonna stay outside. She's gonna run everybody off them. I'm just gonna leave them outside until I go back up because they need to get out and they're ready to like fly the coop. Best friends with his girl there. He never leaves her side. Like she is his best friend. I'm so glad that we got her just for that. We had three weeks between babies and she has kept him busy and been his playmate this whole entire time. She's looking for him. He's over there in the corner with his girlfriend. <laughs> and now, even though I cleaned so good yesterday, there's like a mess everywhere. Oh, everybody's up. Hi, babies. You come in? See, I give her like so much grain. This is not just grain, it's mostly alfalfa but it takes her forever to eat it. But she does eat it. Come here, Teddy. Come here, Teddy Bear. Come on. He loves head rubs, yeah. Yes, you do. So teeny tiny. That little gold one is the hardest one to get. He is so in love with his mama. He's always with his mama. I came right up to you and said, how about we sit instead? I told you my life was beginning. The moment I saw you, I was winning. Already in love before you I really want one of them to bond to me the same way that Winston bonded to Sophie. And it's going to take time because it means me sitting in here. I had to do the same thing with Ellie. I had to sit on the floor and play with her for so long before she decided that we could be friends. Oh, lots of scratches. Oh, you like scratches. So these guys are not like, he's the chubbiest. Well, actually he's not, but he's got a full belly. He's got a full belly. They just drank. So she's doing great all on her own. <laughs> I mean, there's no better, there's no better life than sitting on the floor and playing with three tiny babies. It's so cute. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. A lot of people think you're the cutest. Yeah. And a lot of people think that you're the cutest. <laughs> Are you the cutest? I haven't even done chores yet. Like I still have a ton of cleaning to do. 
You are really the cutest. I still haven't done my hair. Today's Sunday, I think I'm gonna have a hair free day. I'll have a shower tonight and be fresh tomorrow. But today, I'm just gonna have this kind of hair. It's been a clean up day. We've been cleaning up everything and it's actually been snowing. That's how cold it is. Do you know, I don't think Daisy's ever been in the chicken coop. Like she, she, being deaf has really been a thing. Look, chickens, what do you think? <laughs> They think that the bowl of food that I have for the chickens is good for them. So every Sunday I clean up my fridge and bring out all the leftovers for the chickens. Plus, I have like a running bowl every day. So if somebody doesn't eat like a whole piece of toast or if somebody leaves some eggs or whatever, I always throw it into the chicken coop. But this is our weekly changeover. Cleaning the fridge for Monday. You guys need fresh water already? Holy moly. So I come out. And I throw them this big, huge bowl of food. This is beef. Did you guys know chickens like meat? <coughs> Ellie, stop. So I have chicken. <laughs> Yuck. And then, <laughs> Allie, and then underneath <laughs> all this, I have all of our salad. And I also have pasta in here, and the chickens love pasta. <laughs> Come on in! Come on! There's food! Allie only goes after one rooster for the most part. Come on! Whoa. <laughs> A little aggressive. She's like, I do not eat off the ground. I need a bowl. I try and throw it all over the whole coop so that everybody gets some because it's such a big treat for them. And there we have it. This week's weekly ration for the chickens. Just know that chickens don't taste spicy things. So like if I put cayenne pepper, which I often do in their feed pan, they don't taste it. It's honestly freezing. So, do you guys see that door? I have to leave it open for the duck and the goose. And then it makes the barn, fr oh yeah it is. Makes the barn freezing. So, I have to dump this today before we leave. I did a big clean out yesterday. Whew, cold. Oh, I see them. <laughs> Don't worry, we're coming to you next and we got treats for you. All right, we brought apples for our, for our mamas. Don't feed them all to her. There's a whole bag. I know, but we gotta share. Sophie's feeling Ow. better, still has a cold, still has a sore throat. So this no, is- not a sore throat. Oh, really? It's, you sound like you have a sore throat. It's just- Yeah, I know, we all know, you guys want in. They're jumping on the door, trying to break it down. <laughs> She'll be her best friend for these. I know, she's getting really friendly. Like she's she first. Thank you. She's looking good too. Super lively. Who knew apples were her best? Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, don't jump up. This, this, this goat never jumps up. I love her now. Like, seeing her not pregnant, I'm loving her. I oh. think that was half. How did you get down here? Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, these ones are for the other goat. All right, come on in. I need you to help us weigh all these babies. So basically, a baby these goat. These guys would love that dog cage. A baby goat should gain about four ounces. Sophia, you shouldn't escape. Gabby, right. pick that one up. How do we, well, grab it. Grab it. Attack me. No, the mums don't attack. Good, good, good job. Okay, so sit him on this scale here, and just make sure that he doesn't. 
jump off. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All right, you're gonna, uh-oh, put him on his feet, maybe. Put him, it's okay, Gabby. Let go of him. <laughs> Holy moly. Two point. Two point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so he's 2.28. Sophie, can you record that? Mommy. Oh, he's got blue eyes, Mommy. I think. Oh, what a cute girl. Sophie, uh, Molly loves baby anything. All Gabby's baby dogs. Oh, okay. Look, 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 look. Hold him. Jumping. We'll put him back down in the ground here. Oh <laughs> He's like traumatized. All right, Sophie, we need to write that down. 2.28. Oh my gosh. You have to support them. Well, I am. Like His leg. Don't put him on his side. Stand him. Well, they, he'll jump away. No, he doesn't. If you put him. Good boy. Oh, geez. 2.25. You're in charge of the goat, so you watch him. Okay. Let go. Uh, 1.24? 1.28. All right, I don't know about our scale. And so the reason why you weigh them, even though they appear to be doing okay, is because a baby goat that's not getting enough milk becomes way more susceptible oh, to things like coccidia and and also worms. So these guys are all doing so good. But I just want to make sure that little white one actually does look look like he's a little thinner. I don't know. Look, he's already The other two look really good though. So anyways, we're going to start doing a bottle for sure. <laughs> we're not keeping that white one. It's just another Winston. <laughs> Look, here's your treat for today. Treat for sharing your babies with us. I don't know why. She's like, oh, I like you now. Yeah, they love their apples. All right, hand me one. <laughs> Come get one, sister. Harley! Here. Don't bite my fingers. They will actually even bite your fingers when it comes to... When it comes to apples. Look, she's more interested in her babies, making sure they're safe than she is with apples. Wait, 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 wait till I push on. Hold on. Simba. Okay, Sophie, get your phone out. His big balls do. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, well. It has to. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Just let him sit in there. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say 3.1, 3.18 for this guy. Harley is 3.18. 3.90. Oh, all right, we're gonna weigh this guy again. <laughs> Harley, just put your arms around. All right, so now it's saying he weighs four. It's not even in the middle of the thing. 4.1, which is way more accurate. I think I had to, it's just not balanced. We gotta weigh the other ones again. You can really tell that these guys are growing a lot. All right, so we're gonna bottle feed the, <laughs> Gabby, you are not a natural baby whisperer. So awkward. Hold them close to your body. No. Gabby's not a baby lover. So we're gonna bottle feed, we're gonna start. Shut it. We're gonna start. Bottle feeding these babies, which is going to take a lot of time, but just because they're not gaining as much as I expected them to gain. My dog doesn't care how I hold That white one, especially. I love the little pound, you know, one. I know, they're really cute. So, anyway, like I said, if they don't get enough milk, it can cause problems, especially with coccidia. Um, and it's just because they're not strong enough to fight off the bacteria. While they're getting milk, there's a lot of antibodies and stuff in there from mom who is immune to coccidia, although he seems fine. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna start bottle feeding them for sure. We have given them a couple of bottles just to like get them through, but as they grow, their their demand for milk increases. Like it, once these guys are double the height, double the size, then they're gonna need double the amount of milk. So we're just gonna help her out a little. Okay, so the reason that we're going to weigh Winston is because even though he's only three weeks old and we're not ready to even come close to weaning him, um, we don't want to start milking the mom and separating them at night until he's at least 20 pounds because 20 pounds 
is a good weight to ensure that they don't put him on his feet. He doesn't fit on it. Stand. 780. Okay, there's something wrong with this scale. He does not weigh seven pa seven and a half pounds. He, he weighs like 10, 20. At least. Like, he's a heavy boy. He is. I don't, I don't not know about my scale. I can tell. Gabby, sit on this scale. <laughs> Just really joking. A, he's like 10 pounds. Right <laughs> the only goat that, like, look at how big he is. Here, wait. Do you want to see the back? Well, the front? <laughs> 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 Aww, he's such a lover boy. All right, put him on again. 16 kilograms. So he's like eight pounds, you guys. I'm so glad that we've been weighing our goats. Thank you so much to everybody who's recommended weighing them. It's something that is like, it's so much better to weigh a goat than to come down and find it like. It has saved our lives so many times. I know. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's yours. Good girl. And it's you. That's the wrong one. Come on. Okay. I literally can't believe he's only eight and a half pounds. There's no way. He feels like. He feels like he's. He feels like. Ellie's like seven pounds. He feels like fifteen compared to her. All right. We're gonna. Go up and get some milk for our babies. We're gonna come down and give them a bottle. I think that will really help. Did you eat all your grain? No, eat your grain. Here's her apples. Do you like apples too? Yep. All he wants is his girl. Look, your mom eats them. Apparently it's the elixir for afterbirth. I tried to put them down, but. Show me. Yeah. You gotta go in this stall with your friends now. Come on. Can you help me get this, this goat in? And we need to find a collar for Mocha. Come on, get in here. She, oh, she feels special now. Don't you know that you're beautiful?